Hello students, welcome to this class. In today's video, I will be talking to you about sentences ending with a preposition. Okay, sentences that end with a preposition are usually informal sentences. I have four examples of informal sentences that end with a preposition. The first one says, which team is she with? Okay, we have with. This is a preposition. So our, our question, our sentence, is ending with a preposition and it is also an informal sentence. The next one says, that is the company she works for. For is another preposition ending an informal sentence. And is that the commercial he appears on? On is another preposition ending our sentence or a question, and whom, you, whom are you talking to? To is another preposition that is ending our question or sentence. Next, I will give you more examples and practice sentences so that you can, of course, practice with me and ample your knowledge on sentences that end with a preposition. Now you are going to help me fill in the blanks with the prepositions at, into, or for, okay, to end our sentences. The first one says, who does she work? Could we say into, at, or for? Who does she work for, right? Who does she work for? The second one says, where is she? Can we say into, for, or at? At. Even though, this is not grammatically correct because it causes a prepositional redundancy. So this is actually a trick sentence. It is wrong. Where is she at? You do not need the preposition at the end. You must only say where is she? And it is correct. If you add at, you will have a redundant preposition. And the last one says, what did you get? Should we use at, into, or for? Into. What did you get into? And this is also kind of a, um, an idiomatic expression. So these two here are correct, and this one is correct also, but it does not make complete sense. It is not, um, um, it causes redundancy, and it does not look good. Where is she at? No, 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 where is she? Okay, do not use prepositions when you do not need to use prepositions, all right? Because it will look incorrect. Next, I will leave you some homework. Remember that practice makes perfect. For homework, you are just going to write four sentences ending with a preposition. But also remember to avoid prepositional redundancy. Okay, what does this mean? To add unnecessary prepositions. Only add prepositions when needed. Do not add them when you don't need them, okay? Because that will cause redundancy. Actually, I have a video on prepositional redundancy that you can look up later on if you want to. And well, leave your homework in the comments section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, or question that you may have. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fabi, and I will see you in the next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. About quotation marks. Quotation marks have many uses, but today we are going to focus on their three main.